Welcome to part four of my tutorial on layers and in this installment we're going to be having a look at something called layer states. Layer states are very useful especially when you are working in quite complex drawings that have a number of layers and where you may have to switch layers on and off quite regularly. As an example I have a floor plan of an office block here you can see it currently shows a furniture layout. I'm going to open up my layers the first thing you'll notice here is that actually quite a number of the layers have been frozen off. I'll do a control A just to select all there and I'm going to switch them all on at once and you can see that this is a really busy drawing it's got a lot of information in it so obviously being able to manage these layers quite carefully is critical in this case Inside your layer manager you have a button over here called layer states. If I click on that it opens up this window and it allows me to save a state. Now currently in my drawing I have the layers switched on or off depending on what I need in order to give me the furniture layout for this drawing. What I'm going to do is click on new here and I'm going to call this state furniture. And by creating that state, it's going to remember which of the layers were frozen off or switched on, what the colors were, what the line types were, etc. I'm going to close that down. Let me switch on just a few random layers here. You can see that's added information to the drawing. I'm just going to do a few more as well. you can see the drawings become a lot busier. Now if I wanted to return my drawing just to the plain old furniture layout, what I would do is go back to the layer states manager, there's my furniture state and simply use the restore button at the bottom and that takes everything back to where it was when I saved the state. Let's set up another one here. What I'm going to do is freeze off the furniture and you can see that effectively leaves me with an empty building in the background there so what I'm going to do is save a state call it building shell And then we'll save another another state. So, for example, all the floor coverings, uh, the floor grid, and the floor text. So, all of the floor information. And let's save that state as floors. So now we've got three of them. There's all my flooring information. Now over here, I have a shortcut button to take me through to my states. If you're using the ribbon layout, you'll also find an equivalent button on your layers panel. So from here, it's quite easy for me simply to go back to the building shell, for example, just restoring it. Or if I wanted the furniture layout. And AutoCAD simply switches on or off the relevant layers in order to restore that state. So just to recap then, in your layer manager, this button here which takes you through to your state manager, by clicking on new and saving a state it'll simply record the state of all of the layers in your drawing at that point in time. 